everyone welcome back to my channel this is Praveen here your host your mentor your guide and your teacher with that said let's start our today's video but before starting today's video I want to tell you all that keep supporting me the way you have done till now we are in a good progress guys literally I am telling we are in a good progress the love you have shown the support you have shown the spread or the awareness regarding my channel Praveen Singham Palli which you have shown is really really thankful and I bow in front of you all to keep supporting me further also So with that said, this video is very very special to me and I know many of you have asked me in the comment section either on the LinkedIn or on the Insta or on the YouTube channel comment. So with your ask, I have brought today's video and this will be a bang on video and a disclaimer before starting this video, whatever the stats I am telling for 2022 DevOps and Cloud Engineers are true because most of my community people have got this package where I have mentored them under my guidance. So let me tell you some stats as of now I am having 2100 students or the community in LinkedIn where I am actively mentoring or, uh, or making sure they get good jobs. Two WhatsApp groups dedicated for referrals and people who are close to me are there in the WhatsApp group, right? 20 master classes have been completed in my LinkedIn. All are free guys, nothing is cost there. And also 350 plus one to one sessions have been completed in that 200 plus sessions were free where I have shared my mobile number to few of them. I hope few of you are also there watching this video. If you are there, comment down how you felt my mentorship, how you felt the guidance. So many testimonials, our entire top mate is filled with my testimonials guys. You have showed so much love and support in that and I am Guaranteeing you if you watch the above video with the interview questions guarantee you will get one job guys all those questions are very very much important so make sure you watch that video first and come to this video next because once you get that clear then only you will be going to the salary negotiation period so we will be doing one dedicated video on how to negotiate the salary someone was asking in the recent videos comment section also Praveen how you have negotiated 25 plus organization salaries I will be bringing a dedicated video for that also. So two minutes plus have talked on various things. Without further ado, let's get started into the video. So very, very much important guys. I hope uh, who are watching this video have definitely gone through these stats earlier. But if you have not got and if you have feel like, okay, Praveen, this are the true stats. Comment below that these are the true stats and you feel, okay, Praveen, bring such content more. And also I want to let you all know that if this salary, what I'm telling here is is wrong definitely comment down no it should be more it should be less something kind of that if it is apt tell app and if you want any specific topic guys comment karna niche definitely i'll be bringing that topic to you all so uske pehle, we'll be talking uh these things soon devops engineer salary in 2022 because this video is made in 2022 guys so how i have divided this two things one is service based, one is product based. Kuch zada nahi, kuch kam nahi. Both are equal to me. Both are, uh, matlab, pyaar karte hain sab organization se. Par yehi hai ki, each step you need to climb and each step you need to support your family. So that is why we all do hard work. So service based pe thoda baat karte hain pehle. Right, we'll talk few points about service based. So service based are those companies where they go and provide service to other organization. X is there. X is providing service to Y organization with some support work, with some application development work, with some other initiatives where they get built from this client directly. Now, what is product based organization? Product itself tells product based is nothing but jo product khud ka de raha hai. Like X is having its own product and launched its product in the market then that is a product based organization. I hope you have understood the terminology or other kush doubt hua, if you have any questions comment down us pay me my dedicated video banonga. Now without making you wait 4 plus minutes have been completed so yeah for freshers and interns it depends on the organization guys. Why I am telling this because freshers and interns people generally don't give DevOps opportunity again I am telling because cost is directly proportional to DevOps engine. You have the ability you as a DevOps engineer have the ability to stop the deployment, start the deployment, production mein bhejne ka bhi api ka pura responsibility rahega, whatever the application you want to send it to the deployment. That is why freshers and interns are not given the 
direct DevOps work. But yeah, chances are there if you are joining service-based organization, definitely what happens is in the service-based organization, they train on something. And if there is a chance in DevOps team, you will be put into that team. And if you are lucky enough, continue there. If you are not uh, lucky enough, you will be definitely getting into some good place only where your destiny has been meant. So I hope you guys are understanding like for me, my case of mine is like I was a service-based organization guy at first. I got trained into Java. Then I got into DevOps. So with that, DevOps came into my life and that's where I'm here mentoring you all, helping you all. So freshers and interns, I won't comment much. It depends on their skill set. It depends on how much uh, their organization is supporting to move them into DevOps. All those things will matter. Now coming on to the good thing. For two plus years of experience, definitely guys, in my uh, group, in my community on LinkedIn, these stats are there and I can show you each one's proof. But I should not be doing so. So I'm not revealing all those names and all those things. But definitely those are these are the stats which I have personally seen. Uh, I know that people have got for two plus years, five to seven LPA guys for a service based organization, any organization. If you go, it's like five to seven is the range. But yeah, if you have some offer of 10, definitely you can negotiate to eight, nine or some other amount. So always negotiation plays an important role. Bargaining guys, we are a product hai, and we are trying to sell ourselves in the market. So give best quality, dena, best content, dena, apna best resume, dena, everything best. Then the brackets, what I'm telling will be like somewhere nearby to that, right? You can go to 10 in two plus years of experience. You can go to 14, 11, 12, kuch bhi. but these are like, Generic stats, I have just generalized here from the data what I got from my group member. For three plus years of experience, seven to 12 is the ideal range for a service-based organization. Again, depends on the negotiation, the way you act, the way you behave, your interview performance and all those things. For five plus years of experience, very, very much important because five years of experience, I feel there is a transition period, guys. You are the people who will be building the team going forward because you will be becoming the lead. So make sure you get the good package where you get the satisfaction of being working in the correct organization. So for five plus years of experience in a service based organization, you will be getting a package of 12 plus LPA. That plus is up to you guys. How much amount you are able to negotiate, you can do that. Now, very much important. I'm not going into 10 plus, 15 plus and all those things because uh, very few I have mentored for 10 plus years of experience and still I have not received any feedback from my community where 10 plus years of experience ha is doing the de DevOps change and got this much of package. No one has approached me. So I'll not be commenting on that. Yeah, for product based, we'll be definitely talking few organizations, a few things I'll be telling. For interns and freshers for product based organizations, 8 to 10 LPA is a good package guys. Okay, I will not be telling any any organization here. I am not telling XYZ any organization name here. But according to the statistics, what I have found is 8 to 10 LPA. If you are good at bargaining, bargaining in the sense if you are showing good skills at the college level, if you have done some good projects at the college level, then definitely your package will be likely more. And guys, Again, a star mark here. All these packages are fixed packages. What I'm telling, it's not having the variable pay. But yeah, if variable pay is there, plus and minus whatever you have received, you can definitely go with that. For two plus years of experience, 12 to 14 LPA is what the product based organizations is giving. And I have few friends also who are falling under this bracket. So if you are really thinking, okay, I need to support my family. I need to make sure my mom and dad are getting all the benefits, all the happiness. Yeah, definitely try for good organizations. But yeah, everything doesn't come at once, right? Hard work plays an important role. And I am the best uh, person sitting in front of you where uh, I have started with very, very minimum package. And uh, yeah, definitely it's good now uh, with all your blessings and support. So for three plus years of experience, we will be talking like what is the package guys? For three plus years of experience, it's 14 to 19 LPA. Recently, few of my group members have come into this bracket guys. And all depends on the negotiation. All depends on the confidence you show. The way, see. The way you are talking, the way you are talking to the HR, the way you are bargaining with the HR, the way you are selling yourself to the HR depends on your skills at the same time that will decide how much package you are getting. So don't think like, okay, Praveen has told uh, 12 to 14 for this much years of experience, then I should definitely go into that. No, never will happen. It depends, right? Everyone has its uh, their own uniqueness. So based on that, you decide. For five plus years of experience, yes, 19 plus LPA. Again, I have proofs for this. Uh, recently, my uh, my group member has got this tax. So nevertheless, 
always work hard few things always work hard learn new technology if you are into support you want to change domain into devops for your good profile job profile definitely you can do that better package will come and uh, also i would like to tell whenever there are some free sessions whenever there are some boot camps whenever there are some live sessions na definitely go and attend because those will definitely help you to survive in the market no one will come and tell like okay you join here you join there it should come from inner self like okay i need to upskill myself i need to join some course i need to join some free boot camps i need to join some free webinars where i get the training for few days right go ahead and do that so all these stats whatever i have told you the product based the service based freshers to the 5 years of experience i have explained in detail what are the current market packages this was the most asked questions by you all comment in the video if you want any other topics which i need to bring in where you think like okay pravin bring me some good uh, topics according to your statistics i will definitely bring i am giving you promise i will be supporting each one of you follow me on instagram follow me on linkedin ask me any queries i am maximum trying my best to reply you all one to two days i am taking yeah but definitely reach out to me if you have any questions so guys with that said i hope you like this video if you like this video thumbs up on the video it will really motivate me to bring more content also if you have not subscribed yet to my channel subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends definitely i am going to help each one of you who are with me with that said i hope to see you all again in the next video until then take care and bye